Good evening. I would like to welcome everyone to the graduation exercises for the Herricks Middle School Class of 2020, virtual edition. I would like to begin by recognizing the members of our Board of Education, Ms. Julie Chin, President, Mr. Henry Zanetti, Vice President, Mr. James Gennaris, Trustee, Mr. Brian Hassan, Trustee, and Ms. Nancy Feinstein, Trustee. In addition, I would also like to acknowledge the members of our Central Administration, Dr. Fino Solano, our Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Elizabeth Gerson, our Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Lisa Rakoski, our Assistant Superintendent for Business, and Ms. Dina Magicomo, our Executive Director for Human Resources. I would also like to recognize our two middle school assistant principals, Ms. Gina Horton and Mr. Matt Hubbard. Finally, I would like to thank our district departmental leaders and members of the Herricks Middle School staff who provided the tremendous assistance and support to make tonight possible for our students. This evening, we are all here in our cars, socially distanced, watching this ceremony on a big screen because we love and care for the young men and women who are completing their time at HMS and moving on to the next chapters in their educational stories. Although this wasn't the way we planned to do it, and there were days when I feared we wouldn't even have this opportunity, we have all come together as one united school community to celebrate the Herricks Middle School Class of 2020. I know you join me in telling them how proud we are of them and how happy we are that they have reached this milestone. At this time, let's please give them a round of applause. I must admit, I found it particularly challenging to compose this address, as there just wasn't much that happened this school year. Wow, where do we begin? The class of 2020 began their grade eight year with beautiful, brand new Herrick's Blue Lockers that needed some minor adjustments and ended it with a global pandemic shutting our nation down like nothing we have seen before. They slept later, stayed up later, ate a lot, rode bikes often, TikToked a little too much, watched an inordinate amount of Netflix, and missed their friends. But they found a way to keep learning. Since May 13th, how many of our parents slash home teaching assistants have had to pull a child out of bed or away from an epic game of Fortnite to get them to a Google Meet? Through it all, our eighth graders remained steady, focused, and resolute. They showed a remarkable amount of flexibility, patience, and resilience, and consistently moved forward towards their goals without hesitation or complaint. And parents, we thank you for helping and supporting us from a distance as remote learning took home school partnership to a whole new level. There are many people who fear the middle school child. Middle schoolers are seen as difficult, moody, and self-absorbed. And as a parent of a middle school child, there may be an iota of truth to that. I mean, the acclaimed author, James Patterson, penned a series of books about middle school with titles such as Middle School, Get Me Out of Here, and Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life. Now that seems harsh and a little unfair. I argue that the middle school years are an exciting and critical part of the journey. The magic of middle school is about watching the metamorphosis. Although we aren't there to see the finished product, we are able to see the struggles, the growth, and the unfurling of potential in front of our very eyes. And for educators and parents, it is a beautiful thing. So what is the magic of middle school? Well, in middle school, we have our students for the shortest period of time, only three years, as compared to the six years in elementary school and the four years in high school. Yet during the 34 months from opening day of sixth grade until tonight, Developmentally, our students transformed from children to young adults. This rapid period of physical growth can be obvious, but the social, emotional, and cognitive progress is often even greater. 
This transformation can be tumultuous and often make us frightened or queasy. As parents and educators, we alternate between pride and puzzlement. We are amazed by the things our young adults can do and stunned by some of the things that the same young adults can do. Over the past three years, our graduates have learned how to think for themselves and ask really good questions. And they learned how to do research, how to make amazing presentations, and how to express themselves in a variety of ways. Since arriving at HMS, they've developed opinions and a voice and a conscience. Some have looked at the world around them and identified injustice or conflict and have decided they want to be part of a solution. Socially, they learned how to go from three separate schools into one unified community. They learned how to be good teammates and castmates, and they learned how to be leaders. They learned how to manage their time, some better than others, and they learned how to do things for themselves. Again, some better than others, but remember, we are all works in progress and everyone will get there. This increasing independence is what makes middle school parents, myself included, uneasy. In middle school, our students have forged friendships with children we may not know and whose parents we may not know. They don't always do what we ask and they don't always follow our advice as they once may have. But this independence is good and it is necessary. Despite the bumps in the road and the poor choices that were made at times, and will inevitably continue, hopefully with decreasing frequency. Our children have learned and are continuing to learn how to be themselves, to develop their own identities, and to pursue their own passions. When they fall, we will all be there to pick them up, dust them off, tell them we love them, and send them back out there. This is how they grow. Students, forget the mistakes, but remember the lessons. Students, in a nutshell, middle school is where you became you, even if you didn't notice that change. You know what you like and you know what you don't like, and that is an important part of growing up. This year, BQ, before the quarantine, our school musical was the wonderful Seussical. From, my, from the time my children were very young, I would always choose Dr. Seuss books when they allowed me to select books at bedtime. In addition to his lyrical, rhythmic prose, Dr. Seuss's appeal to both young and old is in the messages he delivers with skill and joy. So I would be remiss if I didn't share one of his famous lines in a year we honored him with our production. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Class of 2020, you are all unique and you are all special. And we all love you because of that. Class of 2020, you missed out on a great deal with the arrival of COVID-19 in March. You didn't get to play spring sports like baseball, softball, or lacrosse. You didn't get to have your final spring concerts where the orchestra would have surely given Miss Weiss a rousing send off. You didn't get to take your first regents exams, which some of you may be okay with. You didn't get to receive your grade eight awards in person or walk across the stage at the Tilla Center. And that makes me sad. But what makes me happy is that you showed resilience and grit and perseverance and adaptability. These traits will help you someday. As I shared in our quotes video earlier this spring, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, a smooth sea never made a skilled, a skilled sailor. And after the past few months, you are all ready to captain a ship on the high seas. When our building closed on March 13th, our school endured through the hard work and commitment of students and staff. Schools are more than just brick, metal, and glass. They are communities and they are families. And that is why I am so proud tonight to stand here as your principal. Never forget, we are HMS, and I wish you nothing but the best in all you ever choose to do. Be well. Thank you for joining us this evening. 
I would now like to introduce Dr. Fino Solano, our Superintendent of Schools. Good evening, everyone. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our middle school administration, faculty, students, parents, family, and friends of the graduates. Congratulations to the Herricks Middle School class of 2020. You are a very special class, one that we will always remember. You have endured disappointments and have lived through a uniquely challenging past few months. You have also learned to be strong and resilient through this experience. Herrick strong. To the parents of our graduates, congratulations on making it through the middle school years. You did a fantastic job of guiding your children through this very special time in their lives. Stay close to them as they continue their journey through high school and college. A journey that will have both great days and challenges. Having been a middle school principal and parent myself, I know firsthand how rewarding and challenging that journey can be. You have done a great job supporting, mentoring, and inspiring these wonderful students that are graduating today. To our students, the graduates, we are so proud of you and what you have accomplished. Over the past three short years, you have come a long way from your first days at the middle school when you were worried about whether or not you would find your way around the building and be able to open your locker. You have grown physically, socially, emotionally, and academically. You've also learned how to think critically, be creative, and collaborate with others. These important skills will serve you very well in high school. Continue to get involved, take chances, go out of your comfort zone, and continue to stretch yourself. As Senator Robert Kennedy said, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. You can never succeed if you're not willing to risk failure. Continue to think about the lessons you learned during Challenge Day this year. Remember the importance of practicing kindness, compassion, and empathy. Always treat others the way you want others to treat you. If you follow that simple rule, you will be happy and successful. As the best-selling author, Harold Kushner said, when you are kind to others, it not only changes you, it changes the world. Stay close to your parents and family. You'll find out in a few years that they know a lot more than you think. Keep communicating with them and once in a while actually talk on the phone rather than sending a text. We really like hearing the sound of your voice. You will be going to one of the best high schools in the nation. You will have many opportunities to learn, do research, have fun, and meet new people. Work hard, make new friends, and get involved with clubs, sports, and activities. Enjoy the experience. Try new things and discover new talents that you may not know about. In the words of Harriet Tubman, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, patience, and passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. So be proud and dream big. You are now Herrick's High School's class of 2024. Congratulations and best wishes for much continued success. Thank you. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce Ms. Julie Chin, representing our Herrick's Board of Education. Congratulations, eighth grade graduates. On a job well done, you're headed to Herrick's High School. You've changed so much as individuals from the time you walked in as sixth graders until now. You came in 
as children and you're leaving now as young adults. These last couple months have been challenging to say the very least. And we know this is not how you imagine spending the spring of your eighth grade year. However, we feel that you are ready and that you are equipped to go into the Herricks High School and be able to flourish while you are there. And you will achieve so much. And we know this because you are a Herricks student and we expect nothing less. So on behalf of the Board of Education, we want to say congratulations again and remind you to have fun in all that you do. Find the joy in each and every single day. Because when you walk through those doors at Herrick's High School in the fall, you are going to be in for a ride. It's gonna go fast, it's gonna go quick, but you are going to have the best four years of your life. So get ready, class of 2024. We'll see you at the high school in the fall. Delivering our PTA greeting this evening are our co-presidents, Mrs. Kathy LaRock and Mrs. Maddie Polanski. We fell asleep in one world and woke up in another. Suddenly, Disney is out of magic, Paris is no longer romantic, New York doesn't stand up anymore. Hugs and kisses are frowned upon. Staying away from family and friends becomes an act of love. Hi, I'm Kathy LaRock. And I'm Maddie Polanski, your co-presidents at the Middle School PTA, and we would like to welcome you to tonight's 8th grade graduation. Graduates, you're about to start the next chapter of your life. You no longer will have to worry about 22 minutes for lunch. In these challenging times, it's more important than ever to remember to be kind and compassionate. You never know the difference that one act of kindness can make in someone's life. Remember, you don't have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing and make good choices, even if no one is looking. Every once in a while, you're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to make bad choices. Own it, accept it, learn from it, and then move on. Don't be in such a hurry to grow up. These are some of the great times in your life. Don't rush past them. The next four years of your life are going to be some of the best. Be present and enjoy it. As the world starts to reopen, stay safe and stay healthy. At this time, we would like to thank Mr. McConaughey, Mrs. Horton, and Mr. Hubbard, as well as the entire faculty. You have worked with these students to ensure they reach their maximum potential. Your dedication to these kids is greatly appreciated. Although not together in a classroom, virtually we stayed connected. On behalf of the 8th grade PTA, we are proud how student, families, and faculty have come together as one. We would also like to thank the PTA for all of their support during these challenging times. To the class of 2020, you have become a part of history in the making. Be proud how strong and resilient you are. We applaud you. Congratulations, Congratulations class, class of 2020. 2020. I would now like to introduce Tristan Serge Bali, the president of the Herricks Middle School Student Government. Good evening, Herricks faculty, families, and my fellow graduates. My name is Tristan Surridge Bali, and it's a great honor to be given the opportunity to say a few words tonight as class president. As we celebrate our achievement, part with our middle school lives, and say our farewells to the community, I'd like to give a special thank you to all of our administrators and teachers, to Mr. McConaughey, Mrs. Horton, and Mr. Hubbard, for making it their priority to make Herrick's Middle School a safe and comfortable place for our students to learn every day. To the PTA, <coughs> families, friends, and the Herrick's board and the superintendent, thank you. We truly couldn't have made it here without your support. Students, picture yourselves fresh out of fifth grade. What was that person like? Throwback to three years ago when many of us got lost trying to find our first classrooms, not knowing where to start or who to ask. And now we walk around those same halls like we've been there forever. We've shared so many meaningful experiences during our time here. 
Think of our trip to Frost Valley. Remember your bunk mates, your roommates, and how you interacted with your friends and your group? Whether you look back fondly on those memories, or you frown upon the decisions you made, that in itself is indicative of how you've grown. We've all learned valuable lessons, forming and maybe even moving on from many friendships, and starting to recognize what we really value most in life. We've begun to think about our futures, what we aspire to be when we grow up, and we've delved into certain activities that we may develop interest in and that help us achieve that future. We've grown in more significant ways than just getting taller. And after Challenge Day, I might suggest that we've grown more emotionally aware and we've started to learn how to understand and confront those emotions. We may have learned how to deal with drama and how to apologize to finally put our ego aside, admit that maybe we were wrong. And we've started to learn how to balance our different parts of our lifestyles, whether it be academics, music, sports, or otherwise. We've learned how to study, attempted at being organized, and tried sometimes in vain to develop efficient time management. So here we are today, finishing the last months of school by remote learning, quarantined in our homes, separated from each other. Many of our families dealing with economic hardship, sickness, and even loss. Not how any of us envisioned it. I, like many of you, was dismayed, disappointed, even angry as COVID ravaged our community. But then I watched as my parents tirelessly got up to go to work in the hospital day after day, knowing that they were afraid and worried. I watched as neighbors and friends prayed sent encouraging words and scoured dozens of stores for protection equipment and donating it. I watched and then I participated as students around me checked on each other and our families and supported each other, made cards for those affected and joined food drives for those in need. And I realized that, that we were going to get through this by supporting each other as a community. And then our nation was rocked again. As we witness protests unfold, more than ever, we hold on to the core values that we were taught and have always existed here at Herricks. Tolerance, mutual respect, anti-bullying, whether in school, on the playing field, or in the streets in our towns. And so change became a constant part of our time here in middle school to the very end a change from our preteen years into adolescence and all the teenage angst that accompanies that. Change, hopefully temporary, into virtual learning, which taught us to adapt, to improvise, and helped us become more self-disciplined. Change, while we grow as students and friends, children, athletes, musicians, or siblings. And change, which we hope will endure, which we hope will evolve our community where equality, peace, and good citizenship become the norm. I wish you a happy and enjoyable summer vacation, and I'm excited to see you all in high school. Thank you for your time. Our first instrumental performance this evening is Frolicsome Finale, performed by Peter Alaprandis on violin, Jocelyn Chu on violin, Devin Lee on cello, Dylan Lee on bass, and Sasha Stern on the viola. <laughs>
Each year, we select one eighth grade student's essay to be read at graduation. This year, our essay is from Aisha Ashfer. Good evening, principal, teachers, staff, families, my fellow graduates, and SCREE. My name is Aisha Ashfer, and it is an absolute honor for me to have this opportunity to speak at our virtual graduation. We all know that this wasn't the eighth grade graduation we had hoped for. I think today we connect not only by the internet, but by one wish, that we could celebrate this graduation in person with one another. And there's nothing I want to do more than be with all of you to bid this chapter of our lives farewell. But that was not to be. So now, more than ever, we have to remember that our most powerful ability is hope. Today is our day, and we've been waiting for this moment since sixth grade. It's been a wonderful three years here at HMS. So let's revisit them. Remember when we were new to this whole middle school thing? The building seemed like a maze. We hoped we would find our way, and we did. We hoped we would make new friends, and we did. Trying to get a locker open felt like an impossible mission, and deadlines loomed over our heads waiting to seize us when we least expected it. Side note, getting to class on the other side of school in under four minutes with all our books in hand should become an extreme sport. It seems funny now, but if you look back, our hopes allowed us to get through and succeed. Hope at that time seemed simple. We hoped to get to class as quickly as possible, hoped to get those A pluses, hoped to not get marked late again, and for my sixth grade homeroom classmates, hoped we would get a blue Jolly Rancher that day from Ms. Chahelko. The year after, we grew slowly into confident and responsible young individuals who were ready for eighth grade and what was to come next. Now, our hope looks a little different. Our experience at HMS this year has been so much different. We became eighth graders and our middle school experience was slowly ending. However, our high school experience was just beginning. At the start of this year, I hoped to do well in my regents in June. Thank God they were canceled. I hoped I would be able to perform my last concert with the band. I hoped I could enjoy the eighth grade boat trip with my friends. I was looking forward to many things for the future, just like most of you. But life stopped on March 16th, and it felt like the world was taking a break. Our last year at HMS came to an abrupt end. Who would have thought that Friday the 13th would have been our last amazing day together as middle schoolers? Suddenly, all hope felt shattered, and hope seemed like it wasn't on our side anymore. It felt like all of the amazing things we were planning to do this year had disappeared. Life changed to a virtual world. Classrooms became computer screens and somehow we all got pushed behind it. Despite all of that, we are stronger than ever before. We are after all the HMS class of 2020. We haven't lost hope for all this time and we aren't going to lose it now. Hope is in our teachers that are reaching out to us to provide us with learning material and keep us educated during these unprecedented times. Hope is in our families and friends, 
supporting us and keeping us happy. Hope is this, our HMS virtual graduation. Hope is in our efforts to stay together, even when we're apart. Hope is something that has never failed us and something we should never lose. Hope is in the audacity to hope for the best, even when everything else seems lost. Our situation has made each one of us stronger, resilient, more understanding, patient, and last but not least, hopeful. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. We graduated middle school. But we didn't do this alone. We did this with the help of our dedicated teachers who inspired us every day to do better as a student. We did this with our friends who always kept us entertained with their unique personalities. We did it with our families who are always there for us. We did it with the incredible HMS, making us who we are today. I would like to end with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Another big congratulations, everyone. See you in high school this fall, class of 2024. Thank you. Our next instrumental performance is String Trio in G minor performed by Preston Chan on cello, Aaron Chu on the violin, and Kaylee Liu on the violin.
it is now my distinct honor, along with Ms. Horton and Mr. Hubbard, to present to you the Herricks Middle School Class of 2020. Justin Abraham, Manu Agarwal, Prisha Agarwal, Riddhi Alwalia, Sayam Ahmed, Nicola Ajoda. Adam Al Horibi, Peter Aliprandis, Landon Aponte, Melina Apostolatos, Krish Aurora, Sarah Astar. Aisha Ashford. Aisha Azekrawi. Amelia Babula. Isabella Sasich. Lucas Bacolo. Melissa Fair. Adel Fakovic, Manit Bansal, Elizabeth Farinello, Juliana Barca, Nicholas Barca, Aliyah Begawala. Sanjana Bolina, Suman Bolina, Rebecca Bover, Ali Brown, Theodore Brown, Nicholas Campbell. Gabriella Cardone, Catherine Cha, Kyra Chan, Preston Chan, Michael Chow, Preston Chow. Anaya Chavo, Mac Chowdhury, Avin Chamacharel, Anderson Chen, Anya Chen, Benson Chen. Christine Chen, Edwin Chen, Enya Chen, Hannah Chen, Isabel Chen, Levin Chen. Samuel Chen, Huey Chang, Jamie Chung, Jocelyn Chu, Aiden Cho, Devinder Chopra. Mason Chow, Aaron Chu, 
Damien Chu. Jamie Chu. Casey Chung. Joshua Chung. Sophia Chung. Anthony Clausen. Paula Cohen. Samantha Coker. Isabel Comarchero. Sophia Cooney. Stephanie Crocevera. Christopher Trey. Sean Curry. Meredith Daly. MD Kayesh Chowdhury Daman. Joseph Dowie. Shreyas Dot. Taylor DeFranco. Amna Dervesh. Samir Ibrahim. Randolph Edel. Emily Ang. Marissa Eterno. Tara Flood. Alexis Fatakis. Brianna Gallagher. Nicole Gallagher. Ariana Galusio. Jerome Galusio. Maria Gamboa. Thomas Gaudio. Arilyn Givarghisi. Rebecca George. Jake Gibbon. Anna Giluli. Saad Gandal. Addison Gonzalez. Tibora Gasturani. Connor Griffith. Yang Yang Guo. Achintia Gupta. Sia Gupta. Alex Ha. Jenna Hamuda. Syed Abra Hassan. Molina Helgeson. Giovanni Hernandez. Ashi Polani. Brian Ho. Benjamin Hogan. Fatten Hook. Nora Hook. Allison Hugh. Abigail Huang. Connie Huang. Samuel Huang. Vidor Jane. Faiz Jalil. Jasmine Janda. 
Alexander Jimenez. Christopher Jimmy. Anjali Jahal. Simran Josen Bryson. Isha Joseph. Michael Joseph. Noah Joseph. Philip Joseph. Evgenia Candilas. Ariana Keynes. Shivani Kapoor. Vishnitha Karunakar. Chris Kateas. Peter Kateas. Ramandeep Kaur. Yajneet Kaur. Brian Keating. Michael Keefe. Sitara Kesavan. Omar Koga. Alexander Kim. Chloe Kim. Megan Kim. Terry Kim. Dylan Kochar. Christiana Kalega. Oliver Kalega. Aiden Kruger. Ryan Kumar. Fiona Quo. Ellie Lambros. Cameron Larocque. Angelina Losorsa. Justin Lau. Megan Lau. Tyler Lau. Margaret Ledwith. Devin Lee. Dylan Lee. Megan Lee. Sean Lee. Ethan Lai. Joshua Leipzig. Peter Lecargeron. Tiara Leo. Dylan Leong. Jaden Levin. Aiden Lee. Riley Lee. Tiffany Lee. Evan Liao. Jedediah Liao. Aiden Lin. Chloe Lin. Jason Liu. Ryan Lowe. Ava Lorenzana. Fiona Liu. Brendan Liu. Crystal Lugo. 
Kaylee Lou Nikki Lou Julia Ma Nafisa Malhai Sidra Malik Jalen Mann Joseph Manfredi Maya Motter Francis Marendran Alyssa Marciano Dominico Massey Andrea Mathai Alicia Matthew Carol Matthew Manu Matthew Shane Matthew Brianna Matthews Jake Matthews Prashe Matnasia Marina Matveva Noelani Maud Serena May Desmond Menser Layla Milana Pooja Mazir Jake Moon Isabella Morales Brandon Moy Alan Mrakovich Ahan Mukherjee Aiden Multani Alex Munez Catherine Murphy Andrew Muzaka Maha Naim Oral Nehamu Divya Naidu Daniel Nam Christopher Nell Daniel Eng Kaylin Eng Megan Eng Min Nguyen Elijah O Brian Oliveira Kaylee Orlando Heidi Pai Samira Pai Darian Pan Aaron Paniker Yvette Park Thomas Pasqua Drishti Patel Himali Patel Manas Patel Neil Patel Natalie Pella Aaron Peng Vera Peng Stephen Pham 
Adrian Panilla, Sophia Pizzicano, Jacqueline Polanski, Jeffrey Polanski, Matthew Polanski, Aiden Pollock, Matthew Credenti, Joseph Pavogel, Vinat Rod, Rabia Rafiq, Melanie Rakitavan, Raghav Ramkumar, Alexia Ranallo, Matthew Rappa, Avi Ratra, Madison Rizzo, Andrea Romero, Soa Rosario, Jesse Royals, Riley Royals, Davina Rupani, Anthony Saad, Prashant Sadhu. Basil Safi, Hannah Sandos, Anika Sangavi, Nakiel Sanyo, Fatana Sawari, Nikki Shah. Kishan Shanmaganathan, Arjun Sharma, Zunera Sichter, Madeline Silverman, Amrik Singh, Herman Singh. Joshinjot Singh, Narayan Singh, Sukmanpreet Singh, Zora Sohail, Liana Sun, Julian James Sullivan. Elliot Sung, Sarah Sukram, Joshua Sufarian, Shroya Shrivastava, Ava Stanza, Luke Stein. Sasha Stern, Anthony Strokia, Jonathan Sukraj, Arish Sumnani, Tristan Surjbali, Allison Tadmore. Sophie Tannenbaum, Yashini Telwala, Noah Tesh, Maya Thacker, Joel Thevaraja, Varun Topchernani. 
Abigail Tischauer. Ethan Tran. Emily Sephoris. Isabella Uloa. Dylan Utanchandani. Rohan Vignesh. Ethan Vo. Amani Vu Sanchez. Arman Walia. Alex Wong. Zachary Wadecki. Vincent Wall. Anson Wong. Beverly Wong. Catalin Wong. Jennifer Wu. Evan Zhu. Julia Yam. Kathy Yang. Ethan Yao. Betsy Yi. Ellie Yi. Jaden Yi. Kurt Yi. Hyun Jin Yao. Preston Young. Cherry Yu. Mika Yu. Celine Young. Christine Yu. Kevin York. Thomas York. Erica Yoon. Kaylin Young. Petro Zamaya. Liana Zaman. Shazan Zaman. Athena Zarkatis. Laron Zhang. Nicole Zhu. Kevin Zhu.
hope you enjoyed this evening's program. I know this wasn't how it was supposed to be, but we thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate the outstanding young men and women of the Herricks Middle School class of 2020. We've had a great three years here, and we know that there are many wonderful things ahead. Be well, enjoy your summer, and remember, you are always at home at HMS. As you exit the parking lot, we ask you to hear one final instrumental performance. Our recession this evening is Trio in C minor, Opus 1, number 3, Allegro con Brio. Catherine Cha will perform on the violin with Ryan Lowe on the cello and Catalin Wong on the piano. Thank you so much and have a great night.
Thank you.